Welcome to day 10 of 100 days of Webflow. Today we'll use some GSAP to animate some text inside our Webflow project. We're gonna use GSAP text to animate and uh, this is gonna be a very simple video, so let's get to it. So what we have here is this title text that I want to animate part of it. So what I want to animate is this part. So I want to start with, this is a great way part of the text, and then this part, which is to animate text, will be animated uh, once I load the project. So let's see how that is done. Now we're gonna use a GSAP text. Should we, let's check it out, GSAP text. So um, this is the plugin that we will be using. Now there are different GSAP text plugins. There is scramble text, there is split text, but as you can see, this is part of the paid club of GSAP. Text is a free version, so we can use this one and we're gonna see how that is done. Now first, we'll need to install it. So we'll need to go to installation and then we'll go to CDN. And here we're gonna choose text. So it brings you the CDN of the GSAP library along with the text plugin. So we're going to copy this one and then we'll go back to our project and then we're going to paste this and the before body close tag. So these are the libraries, the CDNs that we're going to use. Next, we will have to uh, create a class that will be animating. So let's say this is the span that I want to animate. So I'm going to create a span here. I'm going to select this and now we'll wrap with span. And then I'll call this animate span. And um, this will be the animated part. So I'm going to go back to my code or actually let's get the code. So I'll go back to text here. So as you can see, it gives you this example code. Now these are the properties that we'll, we're going to look into now. So first thing, we're going to copy this code here. So as you can see, this is also there in the quick start. So we're going to get this code. We're going to go back to our project. We will go to the project settings and then we're going to paste this here. Of course, we will need to add script, close and open tags. So this is a close tag script. And now we have it. Now this element will be a dot animate span. So this is the element that we want to animate to. So it's GSAP2 using the animate span. And then here we'll say to animate text. Uh, we can use an easing. Now on GSAP, you have the easing part, so you can get an easing option. So let's say we want to get this easing power out and we're going to copy this we'll go back to our easing. We can paste it here. So we have this animation happening. So let's save. Let's see how this works out. Now I will delete this uh, animation, this text here, so that I have the text free. So I just have the first part. Now, if I delete this, the span will go away, but uh, you can do a trick of perhaps adding a space and then deleting all this. So as you can see, I have the text and the span is still there. This class is still there, but it has no content. So let's publish and see how that works out. Now, if we go to the live version, we can see that this is animating. This is a great way to animate text. If I refresh again, this is animating how I want. Now, say I want to have this looping or I want to have this set in reverse. Now I can set these from the properties. Now there are many properties here, as you can see, there is the speed, there is the type, and we can test out different ones. So let's try, let's try this type difference one. Actually, I'm very curious on what this does. Let's publish and see. So this is something that you can test around and see how it can be done. So yeah, it's uh, pretty much similar. So this is basically the text. Now there are different properties that we can add to make this even nicer. There are some demos that we can check out. So I usually like to check out the demos and see how people are doing or see the projects that are set up. So if we, for example, go this one, uh, you can see how this is done. It has, you know, some colors, you know, it's set to green and then there is the X value. You can play around with this. So let's, let's use this one. So there's the repeat. So say GSAP timeline. So how does this work? So let's try this one. Let's say we want to get it to repeat. So let's uh, go back to our project. Uh, we'll go to the code. And here, what we'll say is there is a timeline. So GSAP. So this is uh, going to be TL2. So let's try this. Now, this will make the text appear and then repeat the animation. So to animate text and then it goes back and then it goes back again. And then it does that three times as per the code that we just parsed in. And there is a delay. 
So these things that are there are available. Doesn't have to be uh, stuff from the text documentation itself. You can play around with what's there on GSAP. Uh, you can always use uh, chat GPT. Now there is a cool GPT that is custom from the team in Flows, Flowscript, I believe. So if we go to GPTs and look for GSAP, so again, this video was short. This is a very simple way to animate text using GSAP. GSAP is a great library. It's a well-performing library. It animates stuff really smoothly. So it's always preferred. So that's the video for today. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned on the next one.